Yo guys, welcome back to Techno Games. The GTX 1080 is hands down one of the best graphics cards in Nvidia's history, whether it's the standard version or the TI version. Even the flagship of the next generation didn't outperform it by much. It was almost equal in raw power, but with a few added features. This card comes with 8 gigabytes of GDDR5X memory and 2560 CUDA cores. And even when compared to today's GPUs, it still delivers amazing performance. Almost identical to the RTX 3050 in raw power, but for a much cheaper price. Let's jump into the gaming benchmarks and see what this nine-year-old beast can still do. First up is Alan Wake 2 on high settings with FSR set to quality. We got around 50 FPS, which is a solid experience. Next, Assassin's Creed Valhalla on native resolution with very high settings, between 70 to 80 FPS. That's impressive for a GPU this old and this affordable. <laughs> now to the PC killer, Cyberpunk 2077. On high settings, we got around 72 FPS, which is just insane. Fat-ass motherfucker. Standing, you ain't no goddamn lemons, no goddamn limes. They're in there, for sure. In GTA 5, with very high settings and advanced graphics turned on, we easily stayed above 60 FPS. The visuals were stunning. Who snitched? Ah! Back the fuck down! Uh! I ain't laying down! Speaking of beautiful visuals, God of War Ragnarok, one of the most gorgeous games ever made. On ultra settings, it looked even better and still ran above 60 FPS, which is just mind blowing. Next up, Counter-Strike 2, where we effortlessly hit 120 FPS. In days gone, with high settings, we got over 85 FPS. No idea. I'm gonna follow him. See if there's some more where he came from. Dig it out. A lot of ammo left. Oh, shit! Resident Evil 4 Remake with prioritized graphics, settings delivered between 80 to 90 FPS without any issues. Finally, Shadow of the Tomb Raider on maxed out settings ran between 70 to 80 FPS. As you can see, this card still performs like a champ, even outperforming the RTX 3050 in many cases, especially without DLSS. And the fact that it sells for less than half the price of a 3050, that's just wild. It really makes you wonder, if it performs this well at 1080p, could it also hold its own at 1440p? Like and subscribe.